are you? Welcome to LSB Feasters Radio Channel, where we keep great radio from the past alive. And today, we're going to New York City and News Radio 88 WCBS. WCBS was a staple for New York City for decades, delivering breaking news and information to its listeners. WCBS was known for its in-depth coverage of local, national, and international events. The station has played a vital role in keeping New York, New Jersey, and Connecticut informed. WCBS had a team of experienced journalists and reporters like Charles Osgood, Lou Adler, Jim Donnelly, Pat Parson, Ben Farnsworth, Don Swain, Jeff Kaplan, Wayne Cabot, and so many other names have kept New Yorkers informed. The station's commitment to providing reliable and accurate news has made it a trusted source for countless New Yorkers. From the station's launch in 1967 till it came to an end in 2024. All right, here are some of the sounders, the sweepers, the promos, and just the sounds that made 88 News Radio WCBS New York. WCBS New York. This is News Radio 88 WCBS New York. Parachuting disaster on Lake Erie. As many as five feared killed as a light plane hits the WCBS radio tower. And a wave of terrorism in Vietnam. Good morning, this is Charles Osgood, News Radio 88. This is an emergency action notification. All stations shall broadcast this emergency action notification message. This station has interrupted its regular program at the request of the White House to participate in the emergency broadcast system. During this emergency, some stations will remain on the air broadcasting news and official information to the public in assigned areas. This is station WCBS New York. We will remain on the air to serve the Nassau and Suffolk counties area. If you are not in this area, you should tune to other stations until you hear one broadcasting news and information for your area. You are listening to the emergency broadcast system serving the Nassau and Suffolk counties area. Do not use your telephone. The telephone line should be kept open for emergency use. The emergency broadcast system has been activated to keep you informed. We interrupt our program at the request of the White House. This is the emergency broadcast system. All normal broadcasting has been discontinued during this emergency. This is station WCBS New York. I repeat, we interrupt our program at the request of the White House. This is the emergency broadcast system. your time to WCBS. Four tones will follow. The final loudest one marks the exact time. Now, 
direct from CBS News, this special Radio Net Alert news report. Live from the White House in Washington, CBS News has presented a presidential news conference. This is the CBS Radio Network. Jim Harriet on WCBS News Radio 88. Mobility gives News Radio 88 a big edge. The flight is in WCBS News Radio 88, mobile unit number one. Proceeding north on Henry Hudson Parkway. This is Jack Cavanaugh in WCBS News Radio 88, mobile unit number two. We're in Journal Square, Jersey City, but right now... This is Dick Gilbert in helicopter number one. Rio Force, helicopter number two. Tool cutting, reporting from Bridgeport, where a major industrial city... This is John Anthony reporting to WCBS News Radio 88 from Roosevelt Field, Long Island. Mobility and flexibility. Those two words best express why WCBS News Radio 88 is like nothing you've ever heard before. 5.30 a.m. to 8.10 p.m., Monday through Friday, right here. News is WCBS New York. Sports is WCBS New York. Where it's at and where it's going to be is WCBS New York. No matter where the news is made, we're here. Keeping up to the minute with anchorman Don Swain. Weather is. Updated forecast from the News 88 Weather Center. Where it's at and where it's gonna be is. On the spot coverage of breaking stories. No matter where the news is made, we're here to tell it best. WCBS New York. WCBS New York. The president of France greeted with a 21-gun salute as he arrives in Virginia. Another senator switches to President Reagan's side in the Saudi AWACS dispute. He's Democrat Jennings Randolph. The Senate lineup is now 51 against, 38 in favor, and 11 undecided. A very good morning on this Monday, the 4th of December. Begin of Israel sending Sadat of Egypt a response to latest Egyptian peace ideas. Commerce Secretary Krebs says U.S. is lifting the ban and exporting American oil equipment to Russia. Jeff in the Lions Den with Jason Robards coming up, and Steve Flanders has his reporter's journal. Talks about President Carter in the fight against inflation. 62 degrees, very mild day, and carried the rain on and off. Good morning, I'm Ralph Howard. Stay with us as CBS covers the world at 11. CBS News. Some were at the Kennedy Space Centers, others watched from the school in Concord. I'm Ben Farnsworth, CBS News covers the world at three. CBS News, I'm Dick Reeves. Ships and helicopters are still searching for debris from the shuttle Challenger, which blew up soon after launch at Cape Canaveral. When news breaks in the tri-state area or the world, you'll hear it here on WCBS New York.
Stores Financial Inc. Live update ahead from Lou Miliano. Dispute over pay and job security sparks a musician strike at Carnegie Hall. Retired Supreme Court Justice Thurgood Marshall is dead at 84. New Jersey is again going after out-of-state drivers who insure in the Garden State to try to save big money. Sports, the Nets out in front of the Rockets, 81-67 in the fourth. Pirates of Seton Hall fall to the Tar Heels of North Carolina. The Tri-State Area spells news. WCBS. News Radio 88. WCBS New York. All news. All day. All night. WCBS News Radio 88. CBS News. I'm David Dow in Los Angeles. Our three decades of commitment to all news means you get the Tri-State Area's best coverage. The 30th Anniversary Celebration on WCBS News Radio 88. Alleged police brutality victim, Abner Luima, returns to the critical list. Pre-dawn raids take a bite out of Newark's illegal drug sales. Pentagon calls on Russia to clarify whatever was exploded near a nuclear test site. Joe Kennedy not to run for Massachusetts governor. He says the family scandals prevent it. Jesse Jackson balls up traffic, leading thousands in a march for affirmative action, which is dying in California. It was made 30 years ago on this very day. That's when we were born. Happy birthday to us. Da, 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 da. WCBS News Time 852. We have breaking news on WCBS 880. Right here, right now. The FBI is now investigating reports of a plane hijacking before these crashes we're telling you about at the World Trade Center Towers this morning. That is the very latest situation we have that perhaps one or both of these planes had been hijacked. That report is singular. Reports of a plane hijacking. Again, two planes involved in two crashes into either tower of the World Trade Center at about 10 to 9 and 5 after 9 this morning. Another eyewitness is uh, just called in. Susan Romo, you're in Battery Park City and you saw one of them crash? Yes, I saw the second plane crash right into the second tower. This is Monday. It's the 29th of August. I'm Jeff Kaplan. Good morning. I'm Pat Carroll. Here's what's happening. Conditions are rapidly deteriorating along the Gulf Coast. Hurricane Katrina crashes ashore. The storm now devastating the Mississippi Delta, blowing tiles off roofs in New Orleans and carrying debris more than 100 feet. The Mississippi coast now looks like it'll take the biggest hit. We will go there live in moments. Tracking the storm. Now the latest from WCBS News. CBS News Update. I'm Nick Young. Here comes Katrina. This just in to the WCBS Newsroom. We're just learning the National Hurricane Center has just said Hurricane Katrina has made landfall just east of Grand Isle. On 2182. This is WCBS and WCBS FM HD2 New York. Governor Cuomo says the state will open more coronavirus testing sites in minority communities. Why do we have these higher rates and what do we do about it? And let's do that now. Cloudy and 40 degrees in New York. Very windy today. High 52. It is Friday, the 10th of April. More than just the headlines. This is WCBS News Radio 880. Good morning. I'm Steve Scott. It's 5 o'clock. This is CBS News on the Hour. Your home for original reporting. I'm Peter King in Orlando. You can listen to CBS News Radio 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on Radio.com or the Radio.com app. Download it today. Your news, live and local. This is WCBS News Radio 880, a Radio.com station.
Good morning. Chilly out there. 38 degrees in New York City. Partly sunny, very windy, and feeling much colder today. 